Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's work on the problem 34 in chapter 4. In this one, let's look at the problem. And this is just the following problem for problem 33. And in this one, we can see they tell us we need to consider the mass of the cords. So it tells us the weight of the cords is 2 newtons. Therefore, when we consider these problems, it should be three connect objects connected together, right? Number one, number two, and number three. Number three is the cords. So first one, we look at number one. Still, the gravity and also the tension. So this tension is Ft1 there at the bottom. And then also we look at number two, the first force, gravity. Second force, this one, the cable, the, the cord, pull it down. So M2, Mt1 as a top on this cord. And also the force act on this object two to make it up, so Ft2, agree? Then we look at the cord number three. The number three, of we have, of this one we can write in Newton's second law. And this one, Ft2 minus M2g minus Ft1 top. And this one, Ft1 bottom minus M1g equals M1 acceleration. So this two comes from Newton's second law. And then we look at number three. And number three, first one, it has the gravity. The gravity is two Newton, it gives you zero. And also because we can see for this force, and the, this part, because this number three act of force on number one, right? This is Ft1 bottom. So similarly, we have a force. The object one act on it. So this, uh, this is a pair of the force in Newton's third law. So this is Ft1 bottom. And also for object two, it still have the force Ft1 top. So these two must equal with this one. Do you agree? Yes, and then we can also write the equation for this one. So it's, it's Ft1 top minus Mt1 bottom minus M3g equals mass times acceleration. Therefore, you can see we have these three equations. We have these three equations. Can we find the tension on each chord, Ft1 top and Ft1 bottom? Sure, because we can solve it easily. Acceleration is given. See, acceleration is given. It's super easy to get Ft1 bottom. And then the next one we consider is the uh, number three, right? And then we can find this Ft1 top. And then when we consider this one, the number two, we can find Ft2. So this is uh, how we consider the problems. So from problems 33 and problem 34, we can see this is two situations. Uh, whether we consider the mass of this cable, it makes things different. If this mass is uh, just a massless, we don't consider it. So it's the, it is it is easy, right? We just uh, this force, the up force, on uh, the force on this uh, cable is equal everywhere, no problem. And then if we consider the mass for this cable, we just consider this cable as another object, number three, and we still do the force analysis for it. Thank you.